Alright, so uh, we're top dead center. Uh, comp compression stroke. This is high as it goes. And, uh, you know, I've got about a... I've got about a tooth I can... It's actually a tooth before down here. But uh, let me move it a tooth and see if you can see it move. Okay, so that was, uh, that's, that's actually it. Mark, top dead center at the sprocket. Let's go a little bit more. Here we go. Alright, that's clearly got to be right in it. So yeah, it doesn't move for, uh, there's a, there's a whole tooth there where it really doesn't move. So uh, just a little bit before should be in time as well. After doing that, you really don't want to see any of this uh, hole here where the bolt slides up and down. You want it, uh, you can see a little bit here, so I'm hoping I'll be okay, but it's best not to have any of that showing at all. In other words, push it down as far as you possibly can. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. So we're going to try to put our belt on and get this thing timed. Um, been having some problems with it. We are at top dead center here at the crankshaft. See there's two white marks. We've got a little, uh, I don't know what you call that. But uh, that's time there. And over here at the crankshaft, we, we're lined up. Be more specific, there's a little hole. And it lines up with the, uh, it lines up with the um, little arrow that's, that's cut. You can take Allen wrench, stick it in there. I've already marked it right there, so we're at top dead center. So we're gonna put this belt on. Now I've been having a lot of slack up here, and so when I rotate it twice, I'm getting uh, I'm getting out of sync by a tooth or so, and so uh, we're gonna try to do something to prevent that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put the belt on down at the crankshaft. I found it easy to put like a screwdriver or some kind of clamp or something down here to uh, keep the belt on while putting it on the rest of the way. So we need a lot of tension here towards the front. So we've got the belt. We're going under the second idler pulley, bottom idler pulley, and then going back right over it coming over the water pump and we're going to need to pull all that slack out if we can I need to use two hands probably for this okay, and then up here we need to uh, pull all the slack out right here if we can do that alright so here's the see how much play we have here I really don't think that's going to work for me. Um, if I put the belt on with this much play at top, I'm pretty sure that it's it's going to end up being uh, out of time. Um, what I mean by that is um, there's going to be so much slack that um, the cam is going to move down there, uh, and it's just it, it's not going to be a top dead center anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably move this up to get it tighter. And that's pretty much going to cause the uh, the crankshaft to turn counterclockwise about a, a tooth. Um, 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay with that if I can get that tighter and uh, you know then I'll put the rest put the belt on the rest of the way. Right there, that's much better. Need a clamp or clip or something to hold it there, but it should be okay. Okay, so the uh, crank did not move. It stayed at top dead center, but when I pulled the belt tighter on here on the cam, you can see that it uh, advanced a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it through twice and uh, see what happens but we're much tighter here really like this I'm going to go ahead and take the belt wrap it around down there at the uh, oil pump and then put it on here you know we've already tightened this down pushed it and tightened it down spring is very tight so let's go ahead and finish uh, putting it on All right, so uh, we're good here. Down here, let's take a look down below. Like that. All right, top dead center still. Go ahead and take this out. So we're feeling pretty good up here right here all right everything's looking good except for this what we're going to do next is we're going to loosen this bolt here that's going to bring our tension up now when i do that i'm going to push this in right here so that it doesn't uh, pull any more teeth out um, or disengage the position that it's in right now any more than it already is uh, so uh yeah, I'll do that. Okay, let's take this clamp off. I've got my finger holding the belt, pushing it towards the front of the car. I'm going to go ahead and loosen the uh, tensioner bolt here. Okay, feel the tension in my finger. Slowly going to uh, let that uh, my finger off of it. Belt's tight. Okay. Still not that tight. So once we start rotating, Yeah, we're getting tight. It's not even a half uh, turn yet. All right, we're one revolution. Let's go around one more time. Okay, so took it through two revolutions down at the crankshaft. That's what I ended up with. About where we started from. Um, maybe even a little bit better. Let me show you down here. So, uh, yeah, top dead center there. 
and uh, there's a possibility that I could have marked it wrong let me give you some light okay so you know we got this uh, little window here and then on the other side is that little arrows carved in there Uh, that may be more that may be more top dead than top dead center than I than I thought, but uh, because it's kind of hard, you know, you really can't look at it directly across. All right, so what I'm going to do now, we still have this loosened. Belt is tighter, really good. Uh, but we're not finished with that yet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the bolt here. We're going to put on. I don't have it in front of me, but we're going to put on, let me get it. Um, you don't have one, this actually is not a very good one, it's a corded one. Um, if you don't have one, you, know, you can use your regular wrench, the bigger the better, like half inch, three quarter inch. But uh, make sure that you uh, do this job with the plugs out and it won't tighten as much, so it'll be easier to get back off when you want to. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this on and uh, this is just a washer guide to keep the belt in place and you want to put it where the cup sides out. Uh, if you look closely, you can probably see where it was and you can probably see some of the, the belt on here. So I'm going to put that back in place. Now we're going to put the cover on. The lower cover right here all right so we got our upper cover on um, I've got about three bolts in it And you know we're at top dead center. See the white mark and see the uh, zero. Uh, it's supposed to be a top dead center anyway. That's what the uh, that's what it showed on the sprocket. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see I got that on there. I'm just making sure the bolts are okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one and seven eighths rotation. Uh, because yeah, we haven't tightened this yet. So um, you're supposed to tighten this at that seven eighths mark for some reason, and you have to ask Toyota. I don't know, but that's what they recommend tightening it there. Okay, and uh, so we're pretty good right here. It's tight. It's tight. Um, so let's go ahead and rotate it one and seven eight. Oh yeah, what I wanted to say is there's a white mark that I made down here on the cover. That's where we will stop at on the seven eighths. And that's where we'll tighten it at right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate. All right, so we've gone one time. We're coming up to the seven eighths. We're gonna line up with the mark there. Right there. Now we're going to tighten our bolt, 31 foot pounds. Ah, it seems to be pretty tight to me. Uh, okay, we'll make sure that, you know, I didn't hear it hitting the cover when I was turning it. So what we're going to do now is put our plugs back in. All right, we've got plugs in. We've got uh, all the wires away from uh, the belt. Make sure they're not touching. Since we put the battery on, we don't want any shorts anywhere touching metal. Uh, this guy here, the uh, crankshaft sensor has to be in place, and it is. Where is it? Right. Well, it's beyond the pulley, and I made sure that I put that in place. Let's go ahead and give it a first time start.
All right. So what I'll do is just go ahead and put everything back together. Don't want to run this too long because we don't have the alternator. I'm going to turn it off, take a feel of the belt. We want to make sure that it's pretty, pretty tight. Yeah. Let's go fill the belt. All right, I think we're good. All right, I hope the video has been helpful. Thanks for watching it. Until next time, have a nice day. Take care.